Hafadé Guam, here are the headlines for CNMI. As of today, there are no suspected or confirmed cases of coronavirus in CNMI. The coronavirus, first identified in Wuhan, China, is continuing to spread. And with a stop to all flights between the CNMI and China, the Commonwealth is losing a large percentage of tourists and money. With the number of Chinese tourists uh, we're expecting to lose at the end of the fiscal year, you're looking at about 100 to 150,000. Um, and that's just one market. Our concern is the ripple effect that comes with it. Um, we've seen some uh, passengers has pulled out and canceled their flight from Korea and some other parts, and that's our concern, is that as we address the coronavirus here on island, and of course globally, um, we are affected here because there are a number of tourists, um, percentage of tourists coming to our islands here. Governor Torres states from that, we are projected to lose $40 million in revenue by the end of the fiscal year, and says there are two factors that come into play. One is, of course, the China uh, government has issued their concern and they're uh, suspending flights. At this point, um, I know that every, uh, for what I've seen, it's 30 days. But just to be on the safe side, we're projecting at least uh, 60 to 90 days. Um, again, that would be the waiting period for us to say, okay, um, is it safe for our tourists to come back? And the second is our community. Um, how safe do we feel? to open that suspension of flights. Um, how, how, what is the, the tourists all together uh, in a globally, what is their comfort of, of leaving home to say, okay, now it's safe to go. Now it's okay to travel with my kids um, and moving forward with that plan. The marketing director to the Marianas Visitors Authority, Thomas Kim, states the impact of Chinese tourists on the CNMI per year. Saipan alone has averages 165,000 Chinese visitors. Um, compared to Hawaii and Guam, we're a lot higher uh, for Guam, which is at 11,000, and Hawaii at 65,000. So yes, um, the CNMI does um, uh, receive a lot of Chinese tourists, and the China market is our second largest market after the Korean market. Thomas states we will be losing roughly 3,100 weekly air seats from China due to the suspension of flights. We were projected before the coronavirus outbreak to have a total of 549,956 visitors for fiscal year 2020. But now with the projection of ongoing um, coronavirus outbreak, um, we are expecting 503,304 visitor arrivals, considering two months suspension of China flights, 456,410 visitor arrivals, considering six months suspension of China flights, and 433,043 visitor arrivals, considering eight months suspension of China flights. As a result, Governor Ralph Torres states the CNMI will be seeing austerity measures taken once again. I did meet with the House of Representatives today and the Senate this morning. We did address uh, all of basically all the concerns that we have uh, looking into the fiscal year and next year. Um, the, so the austerity, um, there will be an austerity. That letter will be coming out on Friday. With the regulation with OPM, uh, we do need to give our staff 30 days notice. Um, so we are looking at every angle. There are going to be a reduction across the board. Uh, so we were open about uh, what the revenue will be that we're projecting. Again, uh, if this is what we're projecting based on the information that we have of the reduction of tourism. Governor says the reduction will either be 8 hours or 16 hours and states a final decision will be released Friday. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell. For more news, visit SiapanTV.com. For KSPN 2, I'm Ashley McDowell.